you've booked your Disney vacation and now you're seeing all this information about PhotoFast photographers, the Memory Maker service, what are these things all about? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna go over in today's video. and welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Cherry and today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys. Uh, first off, I want to say thank you so much to my viewer Pam who suggested this video. She asked me to put together a video or, or asked me a, some pointed questions about uh, photo pass and memory maker and I thought what better to do a video about it because there's a lot that goes into memory maker, how to use it, what it's all about and also I do have some tips and tricks for PhotoPass photos. So that's what this video is all about today. And what I wanna say is that this video is not meant to be like a set in stone, this is how it is. It's just meant to help others that are um, going to the parks. So if you guys have any comments or any tips and tricks on PhotoPass uh, photos and memory maker, please leave them down below in the comments. This video is a mishmash of my experiences and some research that I've done online uh, just recently to find out, you know, the current prices for memory maker and things of that nature. So let's get into it. What is the difference between memory maker and photo pass? Well, often these terms are used synonymously, although they're not synonymous. PhotoPass is Walt Disney World service that is provided to their guests to have professional photos taken of them in the park. And Memory Maker is the package that you can purchase to download all of those photos that you take in the park during your Disney vacation. So forgive me if I use those terms uh, synonymously. I'm going to try very hard not to. It's a habit of mine to use them kind of um, for each other so I'm, I hope that I don't do that in this video to keep the to keep it clarified but it might happen so please forgive me if that does happen so let's talk about how much memory maker costs memory maker if you purchase it in advance meaning if you purchase it three days or more before your Disney vacation it's $169 and these are rates as of April 2018 now one thing I will say about this is that you can purchase these at any time in advance uh, it doesn't matter when I would highly suggest purchasing them at the time that you purchase your tickets and the reason why is because it's just automatically placed onto your account and you don't have to worry about it because if you miss that three day in advance mark it's $199 uh, so it does add $30 to the cost to receive the same thing so um, with that being said, if you're an annual pass holder, the memory maker is actually fully included in the, in the cost of your annual pass, which is really nice. As an annual pass holder, I really love that. Now, if you're not interested in purchasing memory maker, it is $16.95 per photo to download. Uh, which is a lot in my opinion. And just to put it into perspective, the last trip that I took was a 10 day long trip. And during that trip, we took 580 photo pass photos. Now, we made a very big effort to make sure that our trip was well documented. And so that's probably why we had so many. There were only three of us in the party, but we took a lot of photos. <laughs> How do you spot a photo pass photographer? Well, that's pretty easy. They all wear the same uniform. And actually I'm gonna pop an image of them up on the screen of what they typically wear. Another way to spot these photographers is they're going to be in front of basically every major icon in front of, in the park. So for instance, Magic Kingdom, they're gonna be in front of the castle on Main Street. In Hollywood Studios, they're gonna be in front of the Tower of Terror. They're gonna be in front of the Chinese Theater. In Epcot, they're going to be in front of Spaceship Earth and also throughout the pavilions. And then lastly, at Animal Kingdom, they're gonna be in front of the Tree of Life. Now, PhotoPass photographers are all over. Now I will say that if you are curious where the PhotoPass photographers actually are, you can go onto the My Disney Experience app, or it's also called the Disney World application. And in one of the tabs, there is a tab called 
PhotoPass, in which you can find PhotoPass photographers. How do you use the PhotoPass service? Well, that's very easy. You get your photo taken by <laughs> a photo pass photographer and then after they take the photo or sometimes before they take the photo they're actually going to scan your magic band and if you don't have a magic band they're going to give you a card it very much looks like a gift card to me and what they can do what you can do with this card is you can actually scan it into the my disney experience app or the disney world application and your photos will show up on that app and the other thing about this is that you can use this card over and over and over again so you don't have to get a card every time you go to a photo pass photographer if you do not have your magic band when you're getting your photo taken by a photo pass photographer i suggest asking can you add a little pixie dust or can you do a magical photo for us? Because what PhotoPass photographers have the ability to do is they have the ability to add characters. Sometimes they'll add a little video of like Tinkerbell flying over and putting pixie dust over your head. I mean, they have a bunch of photos. I will include some up here so you can see uh, when we were there last, they put Olaf in our photo. Um, they made us act like we were really cold and I just thought that was really sweet. And in my experience, they do not typically do magical photos if they have a tripod, but I will say it's always worth asking, can we do a magical photo? Because you don't wanna miss out on anything. I know that at some specialty events like Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, they do have a tripod set up for a magical photo where you can get a photo with the Headless Horseman. Photo pass photos are also available on rides. Something to keep in mind when you're getting your ride photos is you may have to scan your magic band. So just be on the lookout as you exit the ride for the screens that are on the wall and for your photo. Now I will say that Disney is getting very, very smart because for instance, for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, they have a ride video and photo and those automatically go to your magic band. How? It's magic, I don't know. <laughs> But it is really neat and they have added a lot of other ride videos uh, For instance, the Tower of Terror is another ride video now if you're going to any specialty events Specialty events have photo pass photographers Mickey's not so scary Halloween party um, The very merry Christmas party all of these parties will have photo pass photographers when you purchase memory maker Those are actually included. This also includes run Disney events Run Disney events are a little bit different because what you will have to do is you have to put in your bib number. Your bib number is going to be entered into your My Disney Experience application or your Disney World application for your photos. So that's just something to be aware of. Now this information is given to you in your Run Disney packet, so just be on the lookout for that. Also, it's really easy to Google. I I lost my packet in my list of emails because it comes through electronically. I just Googled how to do it last time I did my Run Disney race and everything went seamlessly. One of the nice things with Disney World is that their PhotoPass photography shows up fairly quickly after you take the image. I will say that magical photos do take a little bit longer, so don't be alarmed if your magical photo doesn't show up within a few hours of when you take that photo. Now, when you ask for a magical photo, they aren't going to tell you what the magical photo is. That's part of the magic. So um, I've asked before and they actually won't tell me. <laughs> so maybe if you ask, they might tell you, but they wouldn't tell me. So um, just keep that in mind. The other thing I like about being able to see your photos instantaneously on the application is that if you do have Memory Maker, you're able to download these images right away and you can share them on social media, which I really love. Um, I really like to send them like to my mom if my mom is not with me in the parks because she really loves Disney as well. And I just like the ability to be able to access them very quickly. One of the questions that I got about Memory Maker is how do you link your friends and family to your Memory Maker service? 
Sorry for the change in scenery, guys. I thought of something after I recorded the video that is very important that you do need to know about linking your friends and family to Memory Maker. If you have created a Disney reservation and you have put in your family's information into that, they are automatically linked to your Memory Maker. So there's no need to do anything in, addi in addition. It will all be connected for you automatically. Now, if you do not have a Disney Resort reservation or you have other individuals that are traveling with you that are not linked directly to your resort reservation, this is where I'm going to talk about how to link those people to your memory maker. Now, for instance, if you have um, five, six, seven people. Like when I went last November, I had seven people in my party and all of them were linked to my memory maker and how we did that. It does take a little bit of planning and that's why I suggest buying memory maker in advance and then taking the time to add people to your friends and family list. In the Disney World website, you will go to your login, you will sign in, and under the tab where your name is, there is a link that says Family and Friends List. You're going to click on this list, and then you'll want to add people to this list. Now, how you do that is you have to make sure that when you're adding people to the list, you use the email address that they have set up their My Disney Experience email in. That's very important. And then once you do that, you send them a request and then they will receive an email in which they will have to accept that request. That way, every time they scan their magic band when they're getting a photo pass photo taken, it's gonna show up on your application as well. There's one little odd thing about this that I do want you to be aware of. When the originator of the memory maker is the one that's going to have access to download those images. So when we had seven people in our party, I was the one that had the memory maker. These six other individuals did not, but in their application, it had the photos. The photos showed up from our entire party. However, it did have the, um, I believe it was a Disney World watermark or maybe a PhotoPass watermark over the photos so they could not download them. You could screenshot them, but the watermarks are so large, it, it, it didn't make for a good photo. So that's just something to be aware of. So, but with technology today, I don't think it's really a big deal. It means that after your Disney World vacation is done, you can download all of the images and share them within your party. And really, if you split Memory Maker between your party, it's only a few bucks per person if you have a large party, which is what we did. And so I would highly suggest doing that. It just takes a little bit of effort in the beginning to make that happen. Now, when I'm telling you all of this, I'm actually going to link the information below. Uh, there's how to's, things like that, that I want you guys to be able to have access to so you can do things like that. Now, I will say that once you're linked as a family and friend, if those people go to Disney World and you're not with them, you will still get to see their photos. So that's just something to be aware of. I'm not sure if that would bother anyone, but I just wanna make sure that you're aware. For instance, my best friend and her mom were not able to go with us when I went to my Disney half marathon, but they were able to go to their My Disney Experience application and actually see all of our photos that we were taking while we were in the parks, which I thought was kind of fun. I was totally fine with that. So just something to be aware of. <laughs> Downloading photos. Now, when you download photos, like when you purchase Memory Maker and are going to download photos, you can do it from two different places. You can do it from the My Disney Experience application or the Disney World app, or you can do it from MyDisneyPhotoPass.com. And I will insert that information again down in the description below so you have this information. The website says that you have 45 days from the date the photo is taken to download the image. If you're an annual pass holder, you have 365 days from the date that the photo is taken. Now, if you want to extend that time, if you don't have access to be able to download all of these images, you can contact Disney World and they will extend it for a certain fee. Now, I did not call the Disney customer service to find out how much that was, but it is an option for you to take advantage of if you are interested in doing so. 
Another neat feature of Memory Maker is that when you go to download your images, you can actually take and put borders, stickers, and things of that nature onto your photos. And you can also add filters too, but what I really like to do is they have a tab on the customizing the images that you can add signatures. So for instance, like I just recently met Pluto and Minnie at the Disney Chase Visa card area in Epcot. And so I will insert that image here that shows Pluto's signature and Minnie Mouse's signature on the image itself. The other neat thing that it has is it does have stickers for specialty events, including run Disney races that you can place on the images. One of the neat ones was for the race, you can actually put a picture of the medal up onto your image. And another part that I like about this is that it actually has dated borders and borders that are independent for each of the parks. And it just adds a little special touch to the photos that you wouldn't normally be able to do if you didn't have Memory Maker. So I just really like that. And I'm going to insert some images above just to show you guys a little bit about what this is all about. My biggest suggestion for Memory Maker is to download your images as soon as possible because although it says 365 days for annual pass holders, that wasn't necessarily true for me. Um, and so maybe it was just my personal experience, but if you're going to pay the money or if you're going to have it included in your annual pass, go ahead and download the images soon. And that way, the other thing to note is these stickers and borders are dated. And so once it turned from 2017 to 2018, all the 2017 dated stickers went away. So for annual pass holders, that makes a big difference. Or for people that are on the cusp of that 45 days being um, during a year transition, it's just something to be aware of. Here are some tips for photo pass photography. My biggest tip is that make the effort. If you are going to spend the money, make it count. And that's what we like to do. So when we buy Memory Maker, we're like, oh, a photo pass photographer, let's go get an image. Uh, we, it, it's, it's one of those things, if you don't use it, then it doesn't make sense to purchase it. And I will say my favorite part about it is that it's professional pictures. And sometimes when you're with your family, you don't necessarily want to bug somebody else. And it's really, really neat when you can get a really nice family portrait and the images are high quality. Now, the other thing is if you don't want to use the photo pass photographers, you can ask them to take your picture with your phone or your camera. And generally speaking, they're happy to do so, but they will spend more time taking your photos when they use their own cameras. Now, I want you guys to be aware that not everywhere that you wanna take a picture and not every character dining experience has photo pass photographers. That is something to be aware of. So just understand that you're gonna to have to have your camera with you or you're gonna to have to have your phone with you to capture these certain uh, experiences that you might have in the park where a photo pass photographer is not around. Now, unlike other theme parks, which I won't name, Photo pass photographers are stationary. They stay in one place. So that's another thing to keep in mind. They're not gonna be all over the parks where you want them. One thing I will say is that when you're getting your photo taken by a photo pass photographer or you're getting ready to go get a picture taken, be cognizant of a line. Generally speaking, we all know we go to Disney, there's gonna be lines and there's even lines for photo pass photographers. But one of my pet peeves and one of the things I don't like to see is that someone's a photo experience being interrupted by someone who doesn't understand that there is actually a line for that photo pass. And so what happens is people come up, they talk to the photographer, or they just walk right in front and are like, we want our picture taken. So just look around the photographer, just be aware of it. The next thing I will say is be ready. Have ideas of things that you want to do in the photo. Also get your backpacks off to one side. Take your, I have a big camera that I wear. Take your camera off, adjust your ears, adjust your hair. It just makes things go quicker for the photographer and for people in line, which I think is really important, just to be aware of everyone that's around you and to help make everyone's experience at Disney World awesome. If you are running a run Disney race, I will tell you, have fun with the photo pass photographers. They are everywhere, all over the course. But if you want good photos, 
make yourself seen. You can throw your hands up, wake a wave, smile. If you do these things, they're more likely to take more photos of you and you're more than likely be to have better photos of your race if you have fun with the PhotoPass photographers. The thing I will say is that have fun in general. Some of the best images I've gotten from Disney World PhotoPass photographers are the ones where we are being super silly. It's thumbs up, it's peace signs, it's having a good time and presenting different things. I mean, there's so many fun things that you can do. Have fun with it. You don't just have to sit there and just be still and smile. You don't have to. So I don't want you to feel that when you take these photos, they have to be serious professional photos, although they are professional photos, which I really like. Now, the other thing I will say about this is if a photo pass photographer has a suggestion for you, go with it because sometimes what they are trying to do is they're trying to get you to set up to where they can give you a magical photo even if you don't ask for it. So for instance, one of, hands down, my most favorite image that I've ever gotten from Disney World was in Hollywood Studios and we had this guy say, okay, I want you to go like this. And we're like, okay. So we all went, and took the picture and it's one of my most favorite magical photos. I'm gonna pop it up right here. It's me, Nikki, and Terry, my best friend and her mom, with Mike Wazowski in Hollywood Studios. And I thought it was so fun. So if these people have these, if these photo pass photographers have ideas, you never know what you're going to get. And that was such a fun surprise. And I'm so glad that we got that image. So what is my opinion of Memory Maker? In conclusion, I love Memory Maker. I also love taking photo pass photos too. Some of the biggest reasons why is because you get professional images of your friends and family for a pretty decent rate. Also, magical photos are incredible. It's not something that you can normally get. I'm not a Photoshop guru, that's not my forte, but if you are, it may not be one of those things that you really care about, but for me, it's really important. The other thing that I like about Memory Maker is when you download the photos, you have the capability to print them, to use them, to make anything that you want. So for instance, for I get them all printed out in Costco and I usually get a frame each time I go to Disney World with a different date on it so I can place my most favorite image of that vacation in that frame. It's just kind of a tradition that I do. But to me, in my opinion, it is definitely worth it. Now, if you guys, I would love to know how you guys feel about Memory Maker and PhotoPass photography down below. Please leave a comment. Also, if you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions for any other videos or if you'd like to see other videos that are similar to this, please let me know. I would be happy to make them. I wanna say thanks again to Pam, you're awesome. Also, thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel. I am up to, I think, around 750 subscribers right now, which is incredible. And so thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. You guys are so awesome. And with that being said, TTFN.